Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 22 of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We are continuing not exactly right where we left off, because I uh, have discovered that while I am caught up currently on heart pieces, uh, there are a lot of items that are pretty necessary for the game that the game just doesn't tell you about. At least not with anyone I've interacted with. Uh, one such item is found right beside the Tower of Hera in the overworld. You just cross this little bridge, and then you find another one of these little tablet dudes. And you read it with the book. Hold up the Master Sword, and you will get the Magic of Aether. Oh my god. What just happened? Oh. Oh. Okay, there is the Aether Medallion. Its magic controls the upper atmosphere and polar wind. Watch your magic meter. Now, what this actually does, I don't know, but we have it. So, there's that. Um, there's also... I think, we can, I think we can get access to another one, but uh, we'll be right back with either the access to the other one or... Uh, in the place where the next dungeon is. So yeah, BRB. We are back in Lake Hylia, because apparently I can get another bottle here. Um, but I decided to drop by this lady, because I wanted to spend the money that I have gotten. So now we can hold up to 50 bombs and 55 arrows. You know, for how much I use either of them. That is uh, the sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. But apparently, if we go up here, maybe? Ow. I think it's up here. And then, come on. We keep going. And then under this bridge, yeah. This guy. Awesome. Hello? Let me up, thank you. No, we woke him up. Yo, Petrus! You seem to be in a heap of trouble. Well, this is all I can give you. Okay. Magic bottle. What's your deal, bro? Oh, he's just, okay. He's just out. Sure. Okay. Well, that was the entire reason I came over here, so I guess we will be right back with, um... Yeah, we actually have a lot of items to get today, so... It's a bit of an item gathering day, so we'll be, uh, we'll be right back with the next, uh, item. Alright, I am back, and we are in the Dark World, over near... Kind of in between number four and number six, I'd say. And apparently, if we go up here. Oh, hello. After wandering into this world, I turned into this shape. I enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. There was a small grove where I, where many animals gathered. I want to see that place again. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you try to find it for me? Yeah. Then I will lend you my shovel. Good luck. Oh, cool. I got a shovel. I borrowed a shovel. I'm not giving this back. <laughs> okay. Four. So I assume I can pull up the magic mirror. Oh. Oh. Uh, what? What just happened? Hold on. Maybe, maybe I should have done this down here. Oh, hello. Right. I think I was supposed to see this much earlier. 
uh he dug it he buried it with flower seeds okay well i mean that doesn't narrow it down really but i guess we'll just start digging I have a very rough guide. I'm not I'm not 100% looking because I want I want, you know, there to be actual some gameplay in this. I assume it's under some one of these flowers. But there's a bunch of flowers. All right. Okay. Maybe over here. There it is. This is not a flute. This is an ocarina. <laughs> oh, here is the flute. Its music surely has some mysterious power. Do I bring this back to him? Uh. Hmm. I'll. I mean. The guy doesn't say anything about it, but I'll see if I can do something with him. Hey, buddy. Do you want the flute back? Thank you, Petrus. I've forgotten his voice. But it looks like I can't play my flute anymore. Please take it. If by chance you go to the village I lived in, please give, them, please give it to a tired old man you will find there. Well, my mind is getting hazy. Please let me hear the sound of the flute one last time. Oh my god, am I killing him? That is pretty. It's a pretty, pretty noise. Oh my god, I just turned him into a tree. Uh. Uh. Oh my god, is that what these are? These people! Yo, that's fucked! <laughs> that's fucked! Yo, what the fuck? That's... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, uh... Well, I guess we're going to the, to the light world again. Does this do anything? Does it do anything with stumps? He was playing on a stump. Nope. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll be right back with the next item. All right, we're back, and apparently I'm supposed to... Does it play the flute near this? I think so. I beg your pardon? Is that a duck? Uh... Okay. The duck will break out of the statue and begin to fly around. Now Link can play the flute from almost anywhere in the light world and the duck will come pick Link up. What? Uh, it, I beg your pardon. What? What's that? What is this? Hold on. What? What? Hold on. Is this fast travel? It's fa oh my god. Uh, it, uh, okay. Don't hit me. I was not expecting there... I didn't know there was fast travel in this game. That is... Uh, extremely surprising. <laughs> to say the least. That is... Kinda crazy. Okay. 
Well, there we go. I guess we'll be right back for the next item, which is now a lot easier to get. I wish I would have came in on this first before all the heart containers. Jesus. Uh, apparently I'm an idiot and I've missed an entire area, this area, beside Kakariko Village that I've just never decided to go into. Um, and apparently, granted it needs the mallets. It's not like I could do much here before. Uh, but if I fall down here... There should be... Okay. Uh, north, I guess. Uh, hello? What is this? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sprinkle some magic powder. What is magic powder? Do I not have magic powder? Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, it's not even that difficult. I didn't even need to pause because the duck drops me right here. Uh, it's this idiot. Uh, I gave her the mushroom. Apparently what you have to do is you have to leave and come back and then talk to this one, I think. Or not. Or I have to give her the mushroom again? Did I not give you the mushroom already? Thank you. Come back to the shop later for something good. So now if I go in here, and then if I leave, and then if I talk to you again, come back to the shop. Okay, so maybe I have to leave the screen? Okay. Didn't want to do that, necessarily. So now, we come back, and I talk to you now, come back to the shop later. Why? Oh. I just had... What? It was just sitting there the whole time? That's annoying. That's really annoying. <laughs> I hate that. Okay. Well, now that we've got this... Sure. Whatever. Uh, actually, probably I couldn't pick it up because I had the mushroom in that spot. Okay. So, I hate how I had to... I had to wiki that. Like, not even Zelda Dungeon. I had to pull up the Zelda fandom wiki on magic powder to understand what to do for that. I guess you're supposed to get that really early on, but I just never clued in. I know what it does in Link to the Past, but in Link to the... Or not Link to the Past. In Link's Awakening. But in Link's Awakening, the witch just... did. She just gives it to you. She's like, ooh, mushroom. Here's the powder. Okay. Now, here we go. So now if I put magic powder on this thing, I should get the thing that I should have had... For the moth fight. Which is... Kind of very annoying. What is that? Is that a bat? It speaks. Uh, <laughs> hey! Blast you for making... For waking me from my deep dark sleep. I mean... Thanks a lot, sir. But now... I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Er... Uh, is that okay with you, sir? What? What the shit? Uh... <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best. Even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. <laughs> See you. I hope your family has a very nice Christmas. <laughs> Oh, that's so dumb. So, 
Okay, so all my stuff uses half magic now. That would have been amazing on the moth. Does this, do these actually have anything in them, or is it just kind of... Well, it's a dollar. I'll take that. I'll take another dollar. Okay, dokie. Uh, I guess now we'll be right back with the next item. I accidentally did it uh, before I started recording because I thought I still had one more upgrade, uh, but I don't. So I am now maxed out on um, both bombs and arrows because this guy keeps telling me where like chests with 300 rupees are in and I don't want to waste them. In case there's something else in the game that needs a bunch of rupees. But yeah. Just in case anyone cared about why I had that all that. that this is an update. So we are now uh, rocked, cocked, and ready to stock, I guess. <laughs> we'll be back with an actual item next time. So the next item is in the graveyard type area. This is on the Dark World, this area of the map. If you go up to this top corner, and then you use the magic mirror, you get to push this, I think? Uh, maybe I'm an idiot? Hold on. Face the gravestone in this area and dash into it using the Pegasus boots. I'm sorry. Am I just an idiot? Oh. A pardon moi. It has to be a certain way. And then... We get a chest. The magic cape. You are invisible when you wear it. Well, that just seems ridiculous. How fast does it drain? Not that fast. Not that fast at all. That's actually kind of crazy. All right. Didn't did not expect that whatsoever. Uh, we will be right back with the next item, I think. All right, so we're back and we're in the dark world, just under the portal. Uh, on Death Mountain. You just walk straight down from it. And then you go into this cave. And you have to use the magic hammer. And knock these diglets down. And then I think you use the cloak. And you go invisible. And then you can walk over all of this. If I can manage. Hopefully I can actually do it in time. I mean, it took some damage, but the cane of Brina. Brina? If you swing it once, a ring of light will protect you. Well, isn't that just fancy? How am I going to get out of here? I mean, yeah, all these hearts are nice. Rather than return through the cave, it's safer to just save and quit at this point. Starting at one of the set locations in the Dark World. Okay. Save and quit. Thanks, Zelda Dungeon. Do I have the do I have the, the stuff still? I do. What a strange place to put me at, though. This is... Okay. Sure. And I guess we'll be right back with the next item. Alright, so the next item requires us to be in the Dark World, over near where you would normally get into the desert, but in the Dark World, it's blocked off. So, you stand here... And then you use the magic mirror. And then you show up on this cliff top. 
and it's another tablet. So you use the book, hold up the master sword, and you will get the magic of Bombus. Bombos. What? Who? Well, the vulture's immune to it. The vulture is dead. Never mind. Oh. This is the Bombos Medallion. Its magic makes the ground explode with power. Watch your magic meter. Yeah, I know, because I don't got any. Okay. Sure. Alright, I think that that is going to do it for us for finding things in this episode. Uh, there might be one or two more. That's all the ones that I researched for this episode. And I did pretty well with the timing, I like to think. Um, I know there's no more pieces of heart. There might be another item or two. I'm not positive. But we, uh, we're almost full on the item screen. I think we're only missing one bottle here, and then obviously, uh, I think it's another medallion, and then whatever goes below the hammer. So yeah. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of A Link to the Past. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!